What I really need is a bikini to really show my bum cheeks as I look at this amazing view out of the back of my van. We're right at the head of the valleys here between uh, Ebervale and Tridiga looking into the Sirawi Valley and it looks like I'm not the only one to think of stopping off here oh oh, oh great I didn't smash my phone that's nice alright first things first Ah, looks like that needs emptying. Is there a horse? Hello? Have I got a horse rocking my van? <laughs> Let's have a look. Hello? <laughs> oh, getting quite close now. He's come round the back now, cheeky bugger. cheek of it. Push my mirror in. Yeah, you witnessed that, didn't you? What do you think? <laughs> That's ridiculous. Yeah. Well, I've been chilling out with the horses so hard that I've almost forgotten what my mission was. <laughs> it was only an arbitrary mission anyway to explore the valleys of South Wales. But I will have to get my skates on soon because a subscriber, Ian Baker, is driving up from Bournemouth to come and meet me in the Welsh Valleys. So I'll probably be in uh, Rumney. So I'll be going down the Sirawi Valley. There, this Tredegar, Sirawi. Down there, round that Munnoth. And up the other side, there, is Rumney. And that's where we'll meet about five-ish. It's going to be hard to leave this spot, though. Oh, gorgeous. Hello. You've just been quietly watching there. All this time, haven't you? 
letting the horses provide the distraction while you flit around unnoticed. Beautiful. I must admit I'm chilling out a little bit too hard at the moment. <laughs> And there, by his side, you can see the female, closely behind. Perhaps they are familiar with the human presence in the area, and have recognised it to be a known source of food. Right, what's this bloody horse? Done to my mirror. Okay. We're now travelling over the mountain pass between Ebervale and Tredega after spending a lovely night up here with the horses and the sheep and the silence. Now as I recall this road gets a bit sketchy towards the bottom. So I'm in a low gear. Oh, the sketch begins already. First hairpin up. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my goodness, that's a 180. Oh, super steep. Try doing that in your three and a half ton long wheelbase. <laughs> Coming down into Seraui village and Tradiga. Oh, I can see Tradiga town clock. Now that holds a very special memory for me because it was the first English word I knew. And. <laughs> I used to say clock, clock when I was one or two years old because obviously this was close to where my parents lived that we'd come here shopping. I'd see that every day. Wow. Reduced price flavour pomegranates. Mm. I had no idea. <laughs> mm. Mm. Wow. Mm. It's kind of mixed between grape and sherbet. Lovely. Mm. Alright, better throw these away. Right, what's the game here? That is a litter. We have more litter, more litter. Recycle, recycle. Uh, litter, litter, recycle. Hmm. Right, Tradiga on a Sunday. Pretty quiet, but I could do with some cereal. Hmm. Nice. <laughs> yes. This town. Oh. It's coming like a ghost town. <laughs> oh, yes.
food bank and of course the craze in the valleys tanning salon hmm oh thank you O oh, benevolent EU overlords and this chap was called you'll never guess John Jones. What are the odds of that in Wales? Wow. Oh, it gets worse. <laughs> Absolutely no fun whatsoever. <laughs> that is backed up by the architecture. No, you do not have fun here. Well, that was a pleasant little look at Tradiga and a blast from the past for me, the very long past. I noticed uh, there's a little secret valley here. Going to Abatusic. You see Kevin Golai going down there. And I was thinking, what have we got? I've only got two hours before I meet Ian. Perhaps uh, I'll take it easy. Yeah, take it easy.